Close meeting to order. I pledge of allegiance first. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Presentations. We have one from the Garden Club. Steve, yes. you're a front and center. Okay. Uh, Let's go up to the lectern, please, so everybody oh. out there can hear you live. <laughs> well. Okay, uh, just to be clear, this is not a complaint, it's just kind of a report from the field uh, in regard to the Welcome to Waldebro signs at Bow Benson Town, which I refer to geographically as Bullwinkles and Dow, because mm -hmm. north and south is, seems to be confusing for me. Um, anyway, if assuming that the primary purpose is to welcome people to Waldebro, but present Walderboro, promote Walderboro in a positive light, they're pretty much failing. <clears throat> and in spite of our efforts, Carol's efforts, mostly to brighten them up with flowers, it's just, it's just not working. The Bullwinkle's end, it's pretty much fallen apart. Uh, one post is just not there anymore, and the sign is starting to do this, which is if people could see it, it would not be a positive first impression. Uh, and But that's the big problem with both ends, is that you can't see the signs anymore. The one on the Bullwinkle's end, it's private property owner, trees have grown up, overhanging branches. You can see it if you're looking for it, but not until you're right up on it. Same thing down there, but the problem is stuff that's grown up in the ditch along the road, which I'm guessing is a DOT issue, so not really something the town can solve. Um, it's up to you what you want to do about that, but my suggestion is save the bricks, but do different signs and flower boxes in different locations that are a little bit smaller, more direct, closer to the road, more visible. Um, cheaper and uh, located a little closer to town well the Bullwinkle's end may be somewhere around 235 um, the Dow end may be a little bit more into the park and ride area um, something that could be made out of 2 by 12s maybe too high 20, a 4 by 8 well, the, the box beds out front here are a pretty good template. Um, they're four by eight. I think they're two by tens, so 20 inches tall. So something a little bit taller than that with a three foot by six foot, very plain um, block print sign, welcome to Waldeboro in bright colors, like, like blue letters on gold background <laughs> or gold letters on blue black background, but something that's simple and easy to read and eye-catching for drivers who are doing 65 miles an hour. They're not supposed to be, but you know, and it probably won't slow them down, but at least they'll see it. Okay, so that's the whole presentation. I'm trying to think of how we... You're not the first person who has said the signs need to be redone and to be redone. Um, uh, one resident suggested um, the Jefferson sign as a model, saying that that's very simple, very classy. And I think it, I'm not sure if it says welcome to or if it just says Jefferson on it. Which, which sign? It's, uh, I think when you're coming from oh, uh, oh, Country Jefferson Farm. The town. Jefferson the town. I'm Jefferson the town. Jefferson, Jefferson the Street. Traffic Island. Which is, Which is a, Jefferson about Street the same is size is Jefferson a good place to live. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. And you know, it might be worth looking around at other signs that, and and take a look at those. Sure. As long as we, I, I think, as long as we keep the concept simple mm -hmm. and 
Does the garden the club location. does the garden club want to take on that responsibility? Pardon me. Does the garden club want well, to take we'll up and plant them? But <laughs> and, turn, and do you want to do well, us a presentation of what sign you might want to consider? Yeah, I can give you some, mm -hmm. some drawn up suggestions mm -hmm. as to what I think would be practical. Yep. And um, and serve the purpose, yep. which is the point, you know, for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's part of. Well, more than part of, of, you know, why I'm involved is to not just make the town look pretty, but make it look attractive to people who are coming in from elsewhere who might spend money here. Yeah. And primarily, you guys take care of it regardless. So, yeah. I mean, if you guys have input and have ideas. Okay. I can do that. I'll email you all when I've got something. Yep. Cool, because we have talked about this. We have, but, we have discussed uh, it before. Ago, yeah, something like that. Yeah. we had already talked about this. Yeah, but, they, but we just didn't know where, where we should. Uh, um, where to begin? Like, really, where to yeah, begin? Where to yeah. begin or who would be taking yeah. care of this? Yeah. You know, well, project. If we can, if the ground club's it, willing to work on it. That's yeah. If we awesome. get it done, if we can get some help from the town getting the, the lumber and the oh, that, mm -hmm. that won't be an issue. Yeah. That won't be an issue. Yeah. That will just, oh, yeah. we just mm -hmm. definitely take care getting of it. Getting it designed. That's great. Yeah. Um, the town also is going to have to figure out the locations. Yeah. And I mean, like, for instance, if you're, what I would like to see is just this side of 235 on that corner there where 235 enters. But I don't know who owns that land or whether we'd have access to it. If it's in the right of way, would the DOT let us use that space? I mean, it's not a big thing that we're putting there, but still. So if the town can look into that, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of locations, and maybe come up with some ideas for that. Yep. Okay. Thank Good. you. I'd just like to say, I noticed this week that, and it's probably before, that the islands now have they more have a seasonal look about them. The spring flowers have come; they were beautiful, and now the summer flowers are out and looking beautiful. So, what a nice job to do it so that when one goes, another appears. <coughs> well, I I don't know why it took me three years to figure out. Hey, we could plant tulips in the islands, but we figured that out and did it last year, and I. It was exactly for that reason to try to get some mm -hmm. color early. And I didn't expect it to be quite the hit that it was. It was beautiful. Wow, we got a lot of compliments. So mm -hmm. we're, we were just sitting outside while you guys were in an executive session talking about, okay, what bulbs can we put in for next year? Mm -hmm. And we're probably going to expand what's been on the, what we had on the 220 Island, so it's more of a continuous. That was lovely. The Marilyn Andrews bulbs were lovely. I, I don't know what they really were, but that's what well, you mentioned that, so that's what I call them. Yeah, those are those are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I've had two people who said they're interested in the garden club, but they don't like to go to meetings or be on committees, but they like to do work. Oh, when they can. Send them my way. Do you way. want? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'd be happy to talk to them. That's the probably the biggest thing that keeps us from doing more is lack of labor. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just there's. You know, you saw probably a lot more flowers and new flowers mm -hmm. than that over at the, the rest area, but that's the product of two years of work. It's, and it's very the nice. stuff on West Main is the product of three years of work. Mm -hmm. It's just now coming to fruition, yep. and that's where we really heard is that, you know, we've got 500 pots of uh, herbaceous perennials in our plant bank sitting on my driveway. Um, <laughs> Uh, and another 150 pots of forsythia now that were from the babies that we harvested at the rest area to clean that up. Mm -hmm. So uh, where do you want the hedge? It's <laughs> <laughs> so uh, lovely in the spring. thinking yeah. about where you could yeah. put a forsythia yeah. hedge because, my gosh, they're free. Um, and the biggest, the biggest obstacle at this point is not having enough labor to do the work to create the new beds, which is, you know, the, the beds out here by the fireman's wall, it's like three feet by two feet, 
six square feet because of all the roots and the racks. It's two hours to make one of those. Mm -hmm. 30, 60 seconds to plant something. <laughs> two hours to make the bed. So that's where we're that's where we're really hurting is for people to do that sort of thing for us. One fellow said he didn't join because there were times that he wouldn't be available and he didn't want to have to not show up for something. Oh. But I thought that was cer certainly something that could yeah, I can work that out. Mm -hmm. we, I mean, you know, we... At one point, they used to have certain times when they mm -hmm. yeah, had but to work, but we just, Steve will just send me an email when yeah, he's going to be do it when you can. doing things mm -hmm. if I'm available. When it, you know, I mean, today I, I, I didn't have to water, so I said, what the heck, I'm going to pull some leaves up for you know, which turned into a two-hour job for one little section. But, <laughs> You know, I mean, that's kind of Always the way does. we work now. Mm -hmm. So anybody that's available, if we just, if, if they're interested mm -hmm. in working, we can just let them know, well, hey, here's something you can do if you've got some time, or we're going to be over here doing this if you want to join us. <laughs> okay. You know, there's no, there's no, like, it's it's not like the cleanup days, let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, okay. Yeah, I just want to say thank you. Oh. To oh. you and the club and Carol, and all the stuff you guys have been doing. Well, you're welcome. Man. This town is just amazing. All the effort you put into it, and the results are there for all to see. Well, I'm glad and I'm hoping it's having some impact on visitors. I think it has to be. Oh. It certainly does on those of us here. Well, that too. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Would the board like you want a motion to task the garden club with? Designing and design and flower beds and stuff for the new signs. Yeah, I'd make that motion mm -hmm. and add that they would be coordinating with the town manager and the Department of Public Works to get it done. Mm -hmm. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor? Cool. Very good. It's official. Thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> all right. Up next, Sol Schumann VFW. Post update the John Blodgett. Good evening. Uh, I, don't, I come here with some not so great news, but I felt it was my obligation to pass the word on to the uh, to the town and to the board of selectmen. So we uh, sold Schumann Post over on Mill Street. Now, back in the early 70s, a bunch of old veterans got together downtown in uh, what we know, what I know is a taxing building up on the third floor, fourth floor, top floor, whatever it is. And uh, they decided to form a Veterans of Foreign War um, organization. And they were nationally approved. It was named the Sol Schumann Veteran Memorial Post 4525 after William Sol and William Schumann, who both were killed in action in Vietnam. In the early 70s, actually, from early 70s until 78, I believe, uh, they held those meetings in that building until they bought the property well, for a dollar um, on Mill Street. And then they built the building. And throughout the years, the VFW has done a lot of good things here for the town, the community, the organization. Uh, for the fa past 15 years, we've been struggling. Um, just like any organizations in the town, throughout the state and the country, uh, we, we have some membership, but we don't have a lot of active membership, just like you were talking about with the garden. Um, we've come to the conclusion, and we've, we're have we sad to say that we're shutting the building down. Actually, we've sold the building. Um, according to our by national bylaws, if the VFW post surrenders its charter, has a lack of membership or lack of active membership, I should say. Um, the national headquarters gets all assets. So we decided to, before the national headquarters gets the building, to sell the building. And we've got a local organization here in town that's been renting the building from us, the um, Safe Harbor Community Church. Um, they purchased the building from us and they'll, they have taken ownership of the building. We have the commitment from them to help keep that building a community asset. We have organizations in this town that use that building, the Lions Club, 
the uh, women's club, the seniors, the garden, club. the garden club. A lot of organizations use that, and they have made the commitment to us, on a hand, good old main handshake, that they will continue to do that when, they're not, when they don't have to use the building, which is typically just the weekend, Sundays. Um, so that's news I wanted to pass on to the select board. What we've also discussed as a post is because the name, the legacy, Sol Schumann, is important to us as veterans, as well as the town, is we would like to put together a veterans memorial, a Vietnam memorial stone to place probably at the land, at the uh, Pine Street Landing, where, they, where we typically do the ceremonies for Memorial Day. So we're looking for a approval from the town to do this, to put that stone there. It'll be called the, the Seoul Schumann's Vietnam Memorial to, to honor those men that died for our country back in Vietnam. Uh, once all the sale is complete, which pretty much it is now, we will probably be going to our national headquarters to surrender our charter. <coughs> and before that happens, we do have a little bit, a few assets that we're going to donate to the historical society, as well as some, uh, hopefully some contributions to the town that they can use to help out the veterans in the future. So that's my news. Sorry to say. Can we ask questions? Yep. Just, um, uh, you said you sold the building. There's what about a half an acre of land there. Yes, I think there's just just short of an acre. Just short yep. of an acre. Yep. Has that gone gone with the building? Yes. Okay. Yes. Have you got designs or anything of the stone stone? stone Not yet. Um, it'll be a typical memorial stone. I don't it's think that'll be an issue as long as we probably if you brought that back to the yeah once we have the design I'm going to be talking to I'm going to talk to matter of fact I'll talk to uh, halls and some of the local funeral homes and people that deal with these type of things um, they help design the one that's at the historical society um, it'll just be a typical stone that we like to oh the memorial the new memorial garden there at the historical society yeah that stone that yeah. sits there really? for my oh, mother okay. they they help design that yeah and. Uh, I'm going to talk to Mike Call about the ideas for a stone that we can go on. Well, I'd be happy to do a garden around that. And that's, you know, that's some of these extra funds that we hope to donate to help clean up that Pine Street uh, landing. Oh, I, Pine Street uh, Memorial Garden, I should call it. I don't think that'll be an issue. I think it just has to come back to select board, I believe, just for an approval. Our goal it looks like. in conversation is to have this done to do a presentation uh, Memorial Day of next year. Cool. You got plenty Perfect. of time then. Bob? There was talk a while back about um, <clears throat> finding a, a common area for all of the memorials, for all of the veterans right. who participated in all of the different years. Is that something we should still consider doing? C certainly, from the VFW's point of view, um, it'd be nice to have everything in the same location. You know, we have the Korean War stone out here. We've got the World War II in front of the Legion. We've got the stone down there on the Pine Street intersection. We don't have we don't have a Persian Gulf theater stone yet. We had talked about doing that, but I don't think we have the funds to do that after this everything's said and done. But uh, but ideally it would be to have a Veterans Memorial Park in some location, whether they're all there or wherever. Would you guys take the lead on finding a place that you feel is good? The problem is you don't have to, there is no you guys. We're dissolving. I knew you were And that's one of the reasons that we're dissolving because we have, I have 86 members on the rolls and we have two or three people show up. And I actually had three guys from Wiscasset, one from Wiscasset, one from Fairfield, and one from uh, out in the Wayne area. They transferred to Walderboro to try to help us. For the last year and a half, we've been trying to get it going again, and to the point we can't. I'm the only Walderboro person that's been active for, for a couple months at least. And there is a landscape architect who specializes in doing uh, military memorials. Um, his name is Stephen Moore. I'm wondering if it's worth 
getting in touch with him to see if he has an interest in working with you. Um, and, and perhaps the select board to figure something out. I, I feel I'm, I, I, I'm fine with it. I'm, Is he local person? No, main person. he's not. Um, but he's done a lot of work mm -hmm. around the state and for the mm -hmm. state. And I don't even know if he's, I, I have no idea. Right. Nothing ventured, nothing yeah. if, you, if you have an interest. Well, I have an interest. Do I have the time rate to spend it? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> um, and also, of course, with the American Legion, we'd want to get other veterans. It doesn't have to be mm -hmm. VFW. Right. It does other veterans, mm -hmm. whether they're, they're members of the Legion or members of the VFW, or do they just veterans that want to help with it? Okay. I just yep. have a suggestion. Um, my husband and I take care of the buckets at the memorial on Pine Street. And it seems to me there's quite a bit of land there, especially you might have to remove you know, trees or uh, there's a lot of scrub brush there. Uh, and I, as I understand it, the town owns the entire parcel uh, of the island as it is. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Well, you heard it. You heard it. Uh, <laughs> Do we yeah. John? John yeah. He's Do we? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you're, okay. you're right. Um, it seems to me there might be enough land there to make that, um, to add other memorials or you know, move yeah. things around. And also the steps there are so dangerous now. Part of that process could be in, include repairing or replacing or removing whatever those dangerous steps. I guess that comes back to the max. What? Yeah. Can we get a grant to do that? For a veterans memorial park? Yes. I will get back to you. I think there was something. There was, I think, I don't know if it was program or organization, but I think there was some money. And and the state's also doing their whole land for Maine's future. I think there was a huge amount that was just put in there for preservation. So all this is possible. I have putting me on the spot, so I don't know. <laughs> I know that's why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's why when we thought, okay, we have to put this. That'd be the most logical place at this point. In my personal belief is that's a great place for them all to be. Especially tradition shows that we always do our parades down there, straight on the river. People brings people to town um, versus out in the middle of the Willywack somewhere. They're coming into town. They're seeing this this park, and uh, you don't have to have a park where everyone can sit around and picnic. Just people that can offer their condolences, remembrances, and, and move on to the to the narrow wheel wherever they're going. And, and a place that says we really care about all of the sacrifice that lies in this lives. The only thing I've heard about that location is that it, it's difficult to visit and to feel secluded and at peace. Um, and I, <laughs> that's just what I've heard. I have no idea whether that's accurate or not. But yeah, like we have to make it warming, more warming. Yeah. 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 So maybe maybe there, there are some ideas that could come. Steve's hedges? <laughs> Steve's hedges. Yeah, yeah. hedges. Benches. Yeah. 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 Okay. You can do that with landscaping. Yeah, that's true. Okay. However we want to do it. Hedges, are, you know, for Scythia hedges or not, you know, there's, <laughs> there's ways to do things like that. If you get in touch with your architect guy, he might have some ideas too. And maybe Max can find the money to do it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Magic um, man. And hopefully enough money to fix the sta the stairs there too. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, that's why I asked yeah. him. Mm -hmm. that's, 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 that's going to be a job for the big back hope. <laughs> yeah, I think those steps have been touched since they were put in. No, we like, well, except so by, a few times. Ex except by Frosty. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Well, thank you, John. So we're good, we're good mm -hmm. to go to find the find the stone. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Just thank come you. back and show us what it's going to look like and stuff. And all right. Thank you and everything. I think is everybody all set with it. Cool. All right.
There's no public hearings tonight. Is there any adjustments to the agenda? Nobody have any? All right, citizens' comments. Not seeing any. Is there anybody online? No, nope. Ruben was asking what the candy was that was being unwrapped, so I answered it with the butterscotch. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, <clears throat> select board comments. Bob. Uh, I've got maybe three. Um, one has to do with something regarding the state of Maine, which is the first state in the country to pass a law concerning extended producer responsibility. So all of that packaging we get from these national corporations that send us stuff and that can't be easily recycled uh, is gonna make them accountable for those types of materials. Uh, I think that's a really helpful first step um, in trying to reduce the solid waste that we have to deal with as a town and every other town in Maine has to deal with. The amounts continue to grow. They don't seem to go down. Um, so that's going to be, hopefully, I don't think it's a panacea, but at least it's a start and get us moving in the right direction. Um, I believe, Max, the broadband survey will go out this week. Yep. I just need Ruben to forward me the final copy and I'll put it on the letterhead. Yep. Okay. Um, it's really intended for unserved pockets in Walderboro. We'll try to identify where those are and target those areas for the survey to get information back from people about what the level of service is. And then finally, uh, the Village Bookstore is open again downtown, if you haven't noticed that. Um, and the Public Library has been at, has had ongoing its summer reading program. They didn't have it last Thursday because it looked like it would rain. Of course, it didn't rain, but <laughs> they had to postpone it. But it's every Thursday from not, from 1030 to 1130, and it will run until August 12th for children K through 6. It's a good little program for kids to take part in. That's what I've got. Thank you. Cool. Colonel? Just a few things. Um, number one, thanks for the flags to be up by the 4th. That was, mm -hmm. that was good to see. And, and are they going to be up? How long? Any idea? Until Labor Day? Until they can get them down? I, Veterans Day. Veterans Day. Veterans Day. Veterans Day. Okay. I couldn't remember. I knew it was speed for All right. And that the uh, crosswalks were painted. Mm -hmm. That's that's wonderful because there was some discussion mm -hmm. in the uh, uh, media about that being needed, and I'm glad it's that's taken care of. Looks good, too. So. And then the, uh, the last thing I had is Will and myself spent some time with the fire department last week and got an overview on their their operation and the vehicles. So, so you're going to be firemen? Wanted to put that is that out what you're there. saying? Say again. So you're going to be firemen? Is that what you're saying? No. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Mascot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all I have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jan? Fire department is really good about doing that. Uh, getting people go in and get to go through it and understand what they do. I got to do that quite a while ago. I think it before I was in the board. It was quite interesting. Um, well, I've already said one of the things. I wanted to, to thank the uh, uh, garden club again. This, all, they're all brand new gardens now that I look at. And it, uh, and I, dra I traveled that Jefferson Street one a lot. And the one across from Moody's, I see a lot. I also noticed the signs and what poor repair they were in. This week, I was thinking, ooh. <laughs> We need to do something so oh, timely yeah. that you know you brought that up. So I already said that. So, but thank you again to the Garden Club, and I know there are very few of you, but you do a, just a tremendous amount of work. That it just flowers make people smile, and there are lots of people, you know, in Waldeboro smile because of the work that you do. The other thing I wanted to mention, I don't have all the details, but we're having a birthday next year, I think. Waldeboro. And I, I don't know that we've had any real discussions or if there's something in the, the works, um, but I think it, I, mm -hmm. 2003. Three years? Okay. Yeah, 2023. Yeah. Okay. Um, two years, yeah. So, but it's time to start planning that, that sort of thing. So maybe it's time to just to be thinking about that kind of thing. And it's nice that we have people here today. And maybe some of you folks are interested in 
have some ideas, but I think as a select board, we'll, we should at some point sit down and, and have a discussion about what we can do as a town or what we'd like to do as a town. That's all. Well, a couple things. Uh, local business. Um, last Saturday, Delano Seafood had a, their second annual fundraiser for the Maine Cancer Foundation. Uh, they raised over $8,500. Um, so I wanted to thank them, the local businesses and artists who donated items to their silent auction. Um, and our own uh, Justin Hills and Gabe Cooley both volunteered time to sit in the dunk tank uh, to help raise money for that event. So it was good to see them out there. Mm -hmm. um, the second thing is the Quarry Hill blueberry fields are now open to the public for hand harvesting. Um, the Conservation Commission has some free quart boxes here at the town office uh, with blueberry recipes attached. Uh, first come, first serve. Uh, I'd like to encourage all the residents to go up there, take the kids out, and pick some free blueberries. It's a great resource. You should touch on <clears throat> alternating those fields as well. I believe you that's the, dealt with that. Yeah, that's the idea. Um, maybe starting next year is to burn one side one year, one side the next, uh, kind of clean it up and make a more productive harvest going forward. So we have a lot of plans for that property. Yep. So. That's cool. And you mentioned it's picking, not raking. Is picking only, yes. <laughs> and there's signs up there. So cool. Moving along. Our town manager is not here. She's in New Jersey seeing her mother. So consent calendar. Would somebody like to make a motion to approve the consent calendar? So move. <clears throat> is there a second? Second. Any discussion? I have some I literature. Have correspondence. Yep, I do. These are, I think, did I read, I think I read that one last time. I'm not sure. Do you remember from Ashley Holmes? Yes. But a new one today from a very nice young man. To the town office staff, thank you for offering your support as I look to enter a new chapter of my life. The support of friends, family, and community means the world to me. Sincerely, Coleman Swain, a nice young man who graduated this year. Um, Right at the top of his class, and not, you know, in the top. I think probably the top ten, anyway. A very nice young man. All those in favor? Now, down to new business. Appointments of the office of the town manager. We all got a list of everybody. I think the only one on here that's new, that's... Change from previous years is our new uh, town clerk, mm -hmm. Pam Jameson. So, if somebody would like to make a motion to approve those appointees, I take that motion. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? That's done. Gravel and sand bids. The Johnny Daigle, front and center. That's who you recommend? Yeah. Would somebody like to make that motion? I move to go with John's recommendation and uh, contract for construction. Is there a second? Second. Previous years it was like around three bucks, wasn't it? Uh, no, it was a little bit lower. Uh, actually, we've done that. We've done a few more. Yeah. Uh, we're still in the same ball. Uh, okay. Yeah. Is there any more discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Okay. Yep. Sounds good. 
All right, you're up next as well. Purchase of a new wheeler. Yes. Um, one of our older trucks was due uh, to be replaced with uh, six wheel truck. Um, still remember I uh, brought it up during budget time and pretty much get everybody's approval to go for a wheeler that way there. I can have a wheel up on both sides of Route 1. Um, there's $282,000 in that capital. There's more than enough money. This truck and uh, the owner of the company, um, I started working on this um, way early spring. He built the truck, my specs. Um, the equipment put on is to my specs. The price that he came in at uh, is just a little bit higher than the one we bought two years ago. Uh, $2,000. The truck is ready to go. Uh, they'll deliver the truck this week if I want them to. Right now, uh, talking to the other dealers, uh, Western Staff, Volvo, uh, I can't even get a cab and chassis until next year. Um, I would recommend this truck. This one's from 193? Yeah. Yeah. How much was the other one two years ago? Uh, 192, I think. Oh, so it's just, yeah, it's yeah. not much difference. It's not much difference. Yep. Cool. Uh, awesome. This truck does cost $20,000 more than a six wheel truck, but you can do twice the work. So. Yep. You carry more sand, correct? Yep. So this, that was the biggest re issues we've had yep. with sanding. Yep. It is. Just, and at least if I can get one on one side or one, one on the other side <coughs> to the other truck. And this will start alleviating some of those issues? Yes. Okay. Yep. Cool. Somebody would like to make a motion? I, I move that we approve the purchase of the truck from the Collegiate Trucks. For $193,780, and that includes a sander. Sander plow. 75, yep. 780. Yep. Yep. Um, based on the quote you got on February 25th yes. of this year. Yep. Is there a second? Second. Is there any more discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? You really are abstaining? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see, what else have we got here? Elm Street Park. Pocket Park. I guess you're all set, John. I don't see anything else on here. So, so I think you all have the email that we got from Steve actually after the last conservation commission. And I told you I was going to put it up. Okay. Um, pretty much for those who are not aware, there's that little piece of property little parcel that's owned by the town where it's just turned on to Jefferson right off of Route 1. It's just past Abdomen's Place at the Elm Street intersection. There's a little house there that's a bit overgrown. Pretty much what the whole... Yeah, overgrown? Was, uh, just a bit overgrown. Just, just a bit, you know, a weed here there. Uh, Steve, correct me if I'm wrong, the request is pretty much to take the building down and just clear the area yeah. so that you can have a nice little view of the river. See right. that? See the uh, ALY bladder and everything. Am I correct on that? Yes, and that was. I think that was John's idea from the beginning was to just clear that out so that you could park a car or a bicycle there. And is the slab is okay there? No, I think we'd have a great slab up. Really? Oh, yeah. that's that's that good. Gets us away from another big building where people can mess around and everything else. So. Okay. Well, yeah. But will the town be doing this work? So you guys will be cleaning it up, turn it just to like a lawn or something like that. Um, we do have uh, picnic tables. Um, we have one um, that's a garage that was uh, the conservation. Um, she made a donated for Dutch man. And we um, couldn't use it down Dutch Neck because the one that was purchased had to be over the ground four feet. And I think we could probably use it there. So they could have a picnic table or whatever. Okay. 
Okay. Would you propose you're going to be doing this? I August. Okay. Cool. Um, Just a motion to see if you're fine with that. Would somebody like to make a motion for that? So move. Is there a second? Second. I need more discussion on it. We had um, Emily, who was the uh, previous planner, came to the board about the pocket parks in general and that pocket park in particular. I don't know if anybody remembers that, mm -hmm. but she had is an outdoor instrument, and she showed us pictures of of that. You know, we can. Oh, like in um, like in Brunswick, what they have near the gazebo there. I haven't seen that, but I have seen it at the botanical gardens. They have a section where they have instruments that kind of make kind of nice, not loud noises, but rather nice noises. I didn't know if that was still in the works or, um, and I know when she John, came John to us, like John doesn't like those. It's not that. That's why that was one of the reasons why that never, uh, we never done anything. Just because? Tear the building down, move the stock, get the material out of there. Then if you guys want to add this stuff to it, that yeah. Yeah, well, it'd be nice to clean it up yeah. and see what, and just to see what it's going to look like. Yeah. But I know we approved of uh, pocket parks. You did, and then the lady next door wanted to buy the property after that. Oh. And everything got put on hold. Okay. So um. just really clean it up and have that time you guys to do whatever you want. But Is there going to be issues with the state? With the trees and stuff, cleaning all that and trees and stuff out of there. What's there is small. The brush okay. and stuff, and the, yeah. And the, and the ones that are large make some nice shade there, which we wouldn't want mm -hmm. to get down anyway. Yeah. I'm just curious. It's going to be a nice. state issue. I remember the conversation because I had no idea what a pocket park was. <laughs> you know, I just like, define a pocket park. <laughs> and it, it just was a nice, nice concept. Anybody else got anything? All those in favor? Cool. And then just the other part, I probably should have said pocket parks. The other thing the Conservation oh. Commission was talking a bit about was possibly renaming the rest area that's over near Hannaford. Just give it a name other than rest area. <laughs> I mean, I can looking at the U10 tax map. Yeah. It's on there, it's Donated as the town of Walderboro picnic area, designated that way. Yeah. So I don't know if there has to be some sort of official documentation of calling it something else. Can we task the garden club to come up with a pr appropriate <laughs> okay. name for that? Wait, he'll never come back. <laughs> well, he showed up. He's going to get a lot of work. Well, actually, we've been kicking that around. The Conservation Commission. Oh, the Conservation Commission yeah. yeah. is going to take yeah. care of that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Well, I guess you're off the hook. Well, no, because I'm part of the Conservation oh, yeah. Commission. <laughs> <laughs> So the conservation, just do we want to make a motion to name. task the conservation? Yeah, I make that motion. Is there a second? Second. Any more discussion? And they'll come back to the board. Yes. Yeah. We can okay it. <laughs> All those in favor? Cool. I keep from raising my hand. <laughs> <laughs> You'll learn your lesson. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's practice. Uh, <coughs> voting facilities fund. So last meeting I was here talking about implementing the Dutch Neck Marine Park boat yep. ramp improvements and everything. I was wrong last meeting. I thought we had to have a special meeting. But because we passed Article 43 uh, at the June 8th meeting, which allows a, the select board to just apply for things that are in the capital improvements plan, uh, I would just the select board vote on the matter. So the idea is just to fix the concrete columns that are in the boat launch, widen it to 30 feet, and then did we agree? And then the parking was more of an optional thing if you wanted to do it just while the public works is there and we're doing the project. Um, and I think I sent everyone to do the documents that had the price for it. It's around with the parking, it would be ten thousand additional estimated. So it was around seventy-two thousand plus ten thousand for the parking. Right, rounded and, up to eighty-five just to be safe. Right, and that's with the twenty percent contingency, just right. because construction. 
and we have to pay 0.5% of whatever the final cost is going to be. So if it's a $100,000 project, we'd have to give $25,000. Or in kind. Or in kind. Or in kind, yeah. correct. Which you guys are doing the work, a lot of the work, yeah. well, the earthworks. So. Yeah, that's and who's going to be doing the slabs? Have you had any thought in? It's going to be like uh, the one downtown. Yep. So you're going to have Farley's, not Farley's, is it Farley's? It would have to go out to public. Bed. Okay, yeah. Okay, we'll I got gotcha. you. Hmm. What's that? We'll do it, too. Oh, you'll do that, too? Okay, cool. We'll so that would cover our 25000 yeah. estimated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that's and also, nice. And we can also just use TIP funds as a backup. And this map you gave us is that was accurate? That was, that was the design, that the final design plan yeah. that was done back. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure that. <laughs> okay. And anybody wanted to see the final design? I don't think the island was included with the parking. I think we were just focusing on that little side area, not the actual island. The this island one. years ago. Yeah. Um, years, years ago, in the island, there were picnic tables. But in this map, it shows the island as being parking. Right, for people who have trailers now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, just as like a little temporary. Okay. Thing, and that's, this is what you're going to be doing, John? Uh, the island, I'm still not sure. Yeah, the island I didn't want to include. I, I was just focused on that off street area, that okay. little side area that has like the handicapped accessible parking. Because uh, that they always like to see ADA stuff on there. Yeah. So that's, that definitely would have to be included. The island I didn't want to include at this point. Oh. Okay. Potentially a future project. Then. Are we missing potential economies of scale by deferring the island until later? Because it's five parking spaces. No. It's not really that. No. It isn't. Um, but I've heard a lot of people comment they'd like to have you know, picnic tables with the metal. It's a way to tell the dust settles on that. Wait, yeah. And then possibly you guys can take a look at it. Yeah. I can remember years ago. Some people think it's a well. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'd probably put that in the same category as the instrument Jan was talking yeah. about. Like, let, let's get the non controversial things yeah. first. Yeah. Yeah. And the grant's supposed to be more recreation focused, so the moment I say commercial focused parking, they're going to say no. So, oh, okay. okay. So, cool. what's the likelihood of our getting the grant if we apply for it? I, I can never give you a good percentage. Sometimes I think we're going to get it, and um, and then I'm told no. <laughs> um, when we, I'll say that when I did the pre-application, the the head of this program who had to come to a site visit, she loved the spot. She thought it was a beautiful place. And yeah, it is. And so. I don't know if you can take that to, as a good endorsement, but it was a nice sign. But it doesn't mean we're going to get it. So they're looking for a motion from this select board to approve the application process for the duck, Dutch neck improvement. Yep. And then mm -hmm. you'll commit the 25% in kind cash, and this is what you're aware of. Yep. That motion is so amended. Yep. Is there a second? Second. Is there any more discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Awesome. The frame parcels are really nice. They're very nice. Yeah, it would be nice. Yeah. All right. Kept clean. Beyond L Wives CBD, CB, CDBG CBD. grant. CBD. So, speaking of grant that I never know the percentage of, we, Audio Wives, got the CDBG grant. So, hooray. Yay. Um, it's not officially in their hands yet. Uh, right now, we just need to have a few documents submitted to the state that say that we as the town are aware that they are going to get the grant and we are going to have to serve as sort of a middleman where we send invoices up to the state, we get the check, and we give it to Audio Wives, and then we're going to make sure that Audio Wives is using the money for what they say that it's going to be, which they said it's going to be equipment and inventory to improve their, uh, their facilities. Um, really what will have to happen is next meeting there's going to have to be a public hearing which I've already sent an article to Lincoln County News so that we'll have it in the next two weeks papers. Um, 
I I think a motion will need to be done for you to designate someone. Probably we need to just do a quick little survey saying that the town is ADA compliant. It's a weird requirement, but that I'll just be doing some survey work to prepare the documents for your meeting. And um, other than that, I should have all the documents ready by the next select board meeting so everyone can see it, uh, which will include a final budget from Audio Wise for where the, they anticipate their money and the CMBG money to go to, so equipment, inventory, and working capital. And um, Jan and Bob, uh, you'll remember that the little right. group, there has to be a bit of an oversight committee. That's going to potentially just be me, Julie, Kaiser, uh, Peg as the finance director. And then we can have members of the select board on there if it's necessary. One or two is fine. I think it would be good just to have that so that if we do another CDBG next year and I mysteriously disappear, we have some people who have some experience. I say mysteriously, then uh, we have some people who know the process at least. And the product? Yes. <laughs> what else the most important thing? Yeah. Um, we did that when we did the um, the grant for the, the route uh, for Old Augusta Road for the uh, Connect Green Grant. We did All the little ad hoc the, the, yeah. in, in, invoices and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So you don't need nothing from that right now, then? You're just giving us an update on that? No, if you could just uh, do a motion that I'll fill out, that I have the authorization mm -hmm. to fill out the paperwork. Oh, okay. All what right. I mean. Would somebody like to make a motion? Yeah, I'll authorize Max to fill out the paperwork required for the CDBG grant that will be given to you all Is there a second? Second. Any more discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? You're all set on that, Max. All right, that's more all good I news. have to do. No, you don't. Yeah. Well, you well, UMO, UMO, UMO report. <laughs> What's yeah. that? So last year, I was approached by the University of Maine Morono. They had some seniors who were looking for capstone projects. And they said, do you have any infrastructure projects you want to go down? And we had a bunch. So I said, yeah, sure, why not? Of the nine groups that UMO had for senior capstones, we had so many projects, we gave uh, enough projects for three of those groups to have projects. That, that should probably say something about that. Um, the reports were broken into three different categories. There is the what I call the dangerous intersections, which is the West Main Street Route 1 intersection, the Kaler's Corner intersection, and the Old Augusta Road, Washington Road intersection. Then there was a uh, a sort of a walkway one. I don't I don't have a good title for that one, but it was essentially going from the rest area or the picnic table, whatever we're going to call it at this point, uh, having a path from the walking path from there to go up to Mooney's Diner, which incorporates the 80 grade trail and <coughs> puts in a footbridge over at that rest area, as well as sort of a walk through culvert that's just right outside the town office. And the last one was, and I, oh, I should also mention that while most of these were on public areas, there were two projects, that one I just mentioned, and the third one that I do have to give some thanks to uh, Betsy Worcester and other private residents who allowed us to go on these properties. The third project was looking at the Worcester parking lot that's right behind the Friendship Street buildings, as well as looking at the Duck Puddle Culvert. The parking lot was to maximize the space while preserving some of the green area in the event the town ever was to get it. Doesn't mean we are getting it. And uh, looking at the duck puddle culvert to address the flooding that happens at an annual time. So those documents were completed, I think, early June. It was election season, so I couldn't really make a good announcement at that point. Um, <laughs> but they're done. I put them up on the town website under the Economic Development Committee's section uh, with their titles, and that's, that's it for those. I do want to stress that we can't use those to apply for a grant, and we should take those uh, cost estimates that they gave us for the grain of salt, because these are 
remote seniors. These aren't these aren't certified engineers. Uh, although who knows, maybe at this point they are uh, certified at this point. But yeah, the prices are probably very low, and we'd have to go out and actually have someone like Gardley and Dorsky actually confirm the numbers they give us. But it's it's a good first step, and I think it should be integrated in uh, the downtown plan and. Looking at ways that it can be done, I think they did a good job, and just wanted to give them a little credit for that. Cool, nice, awesome. Sylvania, on to the next yeah so subject. This one I didn't really have too much to talk about. I was just more of asking the select board for guidance on this one because I believe the transfer is done at this point. We now have yes. the property. We have the Hoffs' property, and we have the former Sylvania site. Right? So I guess the question is. What should we start doing with this? Because we did our form back on May 18th, and I I think some people in town have ideas of what they'd like to see with the building, or not the building, the site, what they would like to see done with the site. But I think it would be good to know one if there is a committee that should start working at it, whether it's the Sylvania Task Force or if we're in a different group involved on this, and whether we need to start holding more forms, whether we need to start having different discussions. I guess I'm just looking for a direction from the select board of what to do with it. I think we need to have citizen input, at least have some sort of workshops yeah. or... Um, I think workshops would probably be better. So we can have a better start. But I think yeah. the, task, the task force should be part of that as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, they've done their job, so I mean... Right. And just so I'm not taken out of context in some way, um, when I'm saying task force or another group, I'm only saying that because I know that people don't want to be on a committee forever. Yep. I think the people mm -hmm. you were talking about mm -hmm. want to be on the garden, but we're kind of an indication. Mm -hmm. Everyone likes to have that end goal. So I don't know if I don't want to commit everyone on that yeah. task force to this job if many of them were with the mindset of, Sylvania is now town ownership. I'll wipe my hands and I can walk off into the sunset. Some may want to join and, and I'd be glad to have them on. Um, I just think, at least now, we should start getting some uh, open minds and fresh perspectives on this. Mm -hmm. Do we dissolve the task force and start a, a Sylvania <coughs> site committee for redevelopment or? It sounds like a good idea to me. I mean, the task force. Did and if they if they choose to be on the on that board, then yeah, they would have found those. Be on that, yep. yeah, on that committee. I've had one person already put their hat in the ring and be interested in serving on it. So there there is interest. Is that does that sound fair? So they would fill out a an application. Like any committee. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And I think just so we'd have to create a new committee, dissolve the task force. Do we do we want to dissolve the task force? I mean, they've done what they were asked to do. It might be worth asking them if they feel like they are through or if they feel necessary to stay for some of it. Yeah. They might have some. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly the monitoring part of it which the task force has been doing on an ongoing basis, mm -hmm. dealing with the, the, the contaminated groundwater on that site, uh, following the reports that DEP issues or that the consultant issues every quarter. Could, they, could that be rolled out whether they ought to stay engaged? Could that be rolled into the Sylvania site committee as overseers? Could be. Just very quickly, I see Ruben commented in the YouTube section. He was wondering if we can reach out to companies for potentially building on that on the site. It's certainly an option. It would have to be within the um, restrictions of the main EP's environmental <coughs> covenant. And again, right. it would be up to what's decided by the committee slash select yep. if you want to see done with the site. Right. Yep. Well, your May 26 document lays out a, a staged approach to dealing with the property. Right. And it seems to me to be pretty reasonable. I mean, phase one is cleanup and beautification and 
starting to make it look nice. And trails. See, yeah, and trails. Yeah. Yep. There's and a lot of trails. Some like roofs that they have been working with town to put the trails in. Yeah. I, I think this lays it out pretty nicely, Max. I guess, I guess I'd make a motion to appoint a new committee that could be composed of members of the existing task force uh, and new members that would be tasked with following the progress on the cleanup and uh, recommending repurposing steps to repurpose the property with the inclusion of the community and recommendations to the select board. Is that covered? Yep. And how many members would you like on that board? I would say nine, just so there's an odd number. Is. And is hopefully we have enough to show up for a quorum, if it's possible. You need five to show up for the quorum. Yep. Yeah. So if we do nine, then at least five should be able to show up. Hope so. The task and then, force was and we can good. come up with a, a matrix of who's on the board later. Or would you like to do that now? What do you mean by that? Uh, say at least two from the the Sylvania Task Force, two from the two from the uh, two or three from the the maybe even the Conservation Committee, a couple from the Conservation Committee on there. Um, Certainly the Garden Club. I think they had at least one member on it. Yeah. And, economic development. And, yeah, economic development. Yeah, and uh, you know, people from just random residents yep. and one or two from the select board, just to come back to the select board with what's going on and stuff. Or yeah, I mean, one or two members of the select board work with the committee, but not actually serve on it and have a vote. Yep. Does that make sense? I was actually going to suggest, could, if there is going to be a member of the select board, I almost want to see what the the applications are going to be like first. Because okay. you know, if we get seven right. people, we might want the select board. If we don't, then if I, we, I we may not need the select board. Yeah, I'd yeah. love to have all okay. the members. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do we so want to break it? enough for you, Pam? <laughs> <laughs> She's still smiling. You yeah, notice that? Does. It's always a good sign. Just trying to think of how we want to do. We want to set that up now. I was going to say, if you're fine with me just reaching out to the Sylvania Task Force first to see if they're fine with what's proposed. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just didn't want. This to is okay, okay. Then I guess what we we, we should possibly do is just do like you ask is reach out to them and, and tell them this is what we're looking at possibly doing. Yeah. And put it on the next agenda. Yep. And put it on the next agenda. Is that so okay, Bob? I withdraw the motion. Is it, are you okay? You're okay yeah, no, I'm happy with that. I okay. think that's a reasonable mm -hmm. way to do okay. it. Okay. So, so that'll give you comments from the audience or from John. John, I don't know if you have any thoughts. Is that for Sylvania? Yeah, yeah we do. Um, I think before we turn around and worry about committees, uh, we find out exactly what we can do that. We will know them old. So many kids were happy that we had cleaned it up, and they asked us to clean up the rest of it. But I don't know what can be done there, what can't be done. Can can we mow the field and everything down through there? And mow like a lawnmower mowing the field? That's we went over to Bush Hog and then we turned around and mowed it. And people want the hedge trim. They want the bushes cut on the slab. Pretty sure That's what they would like to do. I'm pretty sure we can start doing whatever. I'll can you just to. double check before? Yeah, I'll double check, but I would imagine just mowing a lawn would be fine. Now that we don't have well, there's, there's trees and stuff like yeah. that that's growing up yeah. through the foundation and yeah. stuff like yeah. that. So Ask if that oh, can be... Oh, we're talking on the restricted area. Yes. I thought we were just talking about the oh, no. general no. field. No, the whole thing. Oh, fine. All right. Yeah. We're not can allowed you... to dig anywhere. Right. No. Nope. Yeah, no. But it doesn't say you can't mow. It doesn't say you can't mow. But I'll just check. to double check yeah. to clarify for John. Cool. So you're all set with that? Yeah. Okay. There's no old business. I guess we have one item for the agenda for the next meeting is the task, the possible new committee for, for Sylvania. Sylvania site. Yeah. And 
Could we also add a discussion of something Jan brought up earlier, and that is, because some people have been concerned about our lack of action at this point, is to set a committee up to do the Waldeboro, is it the 250th? Oh, the, the, um, birthday, the, birthday, the birthday anniversary, whatever it is. The last time they did this at 200 years, they, they were like planning going up for two, two years they planned that event. Well, I, I think the, remember the fire department when they did their anniversary yeah. weekend or long weekend? It was wonderful. They they took a few years yep. doing it, and it, I think it might be nice to get a couple of those guys on here because they know what they're doing, yep. too, you yep. know? Yeah, and they so were to the agenda item for the next yep. meeting as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. I wrote it down. And the audio wide CBD. Okay. Yep. Cool. Does anybody have anything else? I guess not. So, would somebody like to make a motion to adjourn? I so move. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Cool. Nicely done, Abdin. <laughs> Somebody wasn't here.